We believe this is a lone uh, gunman involved in this that did have a connection to the bank. And I can see him still shooting. This is not okay at all. We need to stop this because if this was what we want America to be right. We will get through this. We'll get through this together. It's the only way. It is 6 a.m. April the 11th, Tuesday morning. We continue to follow the mass shooting in downtown Louisville. Five people are now dead with another eight injured. The shooter is also dead. Heavy hearts across the city as we learn more about the victims. This tragedy, this violence, no one wants to see this in their hometown. But that reality is our reality this morning, Kentuckiana. Quick actions by Metro Police, frantic moments for witnesses inside. We, we talked to both yesterday. We, we got a variance of, of different experiences. But the thing that is shared was fury and frustration and sadness. Yeah, lots of heartbreak this morning. Uh, we are heartbroken for victims. We're heartbroken for our city. Um, it's just so difficult to see all of these people and realize there might only be one degree of separation between, you know, any one person in this city and one of those victims. And we're seeing that. We're getting text messages from people saying that was my dot, 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 or my best friend's dot, dot, dot. And we want to just get right into this now with Jim Stratman and photojournalist Nelson Reyes, who are live downtown. And uh, Jim, you've got the daunting responsibility of kind of weeding through all of this because we've got a lot of updates uh, that have come in overnight. Yeah, that's right, Eric. We have seen updates rolling in pretty much since the moment you and Haley got down here yesterday. News constantly developing. We've got more development overnight. We now know that one more victim, a fifth victim, has died. We also know that a third officer was injured in this shooting. I'm going to step out and you can see kind of where the scene sits right now. Obviously, it is a lot quieter this morning than it was uh, just about 24 hours ago. <clears throat> But the remnants is, are still there. You can feel kind of this heaviness in the air as you look at some of the wood paneling that's up to block some of the broken glass. I went up there just moments ago to take a look at just what I could see inside. There is still so much shattered glass inside the entry hallway. There is a heart of roses sitting right outside the front door, a memorial to those people who lost their lives. Again, now, now we know five victims have died, all five that were killed were employees at the bank. LNPD Chief Jacqueline Gwynn Villaroel says police shot and killed the shooter within minutes of arriving at the scene around nine o'clock Monday morning. So five victims are dead and the shooter is also dead. Eight people were hurt, including an LNPD officer who is right now in critical condition this morning after being shot in the head. That officer, 26 year old officer Nicholas Wilt, he was sworn into the department less than two weeks ago. Police have identified five people killed. Those are 40 year old Joshua Barrick, 64 year old Jim Tut, 63 year old Tommy Elliott, 45 year old Juliana Farmer, and 57 year old Deanna Eckert, who we learned died late last night. Now, throughout the day, we were getting more and more information released to us each time that news just seeming to hurt the community more and more. And we saw plenty of emotion on the faces of the families of victims who were coming down to this scene. We saw emotion from police. We saw emotion from city leaders. We saw emotion even from Governor Andy Bashir, who is reticent at times to show that emotion. He was in town yesterday, all of them echoing a similar message. Acts of violence like this hurt. They tear at the fabric of who we are at our society, at our state, at our country, and this city. Today, I'm hurt, and I'm hurting. And I know so many people out there are as well. We will be speaking with city leaders a little bit later on this hour. Mayor Craig Greenberg and Interim Police Chief Jacqueline Gwynn Villaroel will be with us right around 640, 645. We'll be able to answer, ask some questions of them. And of course, we'll keep you updated as we continue to learn more information throughout the day. But I want to say what the governor said right there is really true. It echoes here. There are so many people in this community who are hurting today. They were hurting yesterday. They were hurting today still. We went out to a couple of the vigils last night and saw the community rally together. I'll be back with a little bit more of that coverage coming up in the next half hour. Haley, Eric. All right, Jim, thank you so much. 
Old National Bank CEO Jim Ryan released a statement on the shooting saying, quote, there are no words to adequately describe the sadness and devastation that our Old National family is experiencing. He says Old National's focus is making sure everyone involved has the support and assistance they need. The lives lost in this mass shooting were connected to people all across Kentuckyana, from Tommy Elliott, who was a close friend of the governor, also a friend of the mayor, to Joshua Barrick, a father and basketball coach for his kids' basketball team. Tom Lally went to a vigil last night where people got to share their memories of the victims. A prayer vigil. The pews were filled at Holy Trinity. All thoughts here with the victims and Louisville police. One officer shot in the head. They've spent the last seven years working for the Grange Fire Department and Old County EMS. LMPD officer Nick Wilt just graduated from the academy on March 31st, and the LaGrange Fire Department proudly clapped as he crossed the stage. Here was his graduating class, class 54, and there's Nicholas Wilt right there at the bottom. For the past seven years, they've known him by another uniform. In fact, he was still working as a firefighter in LaGrange, where Major Keith Smith says running in to help is nothing new. Nick would be right there, you know, in forefront of it, you know, doing whatever job needed to be done. The chief of police sharing a message for Wilt and other officers. Who took it upon themselves and not wait to assess everything, but just went in to stop the threat so that more lives would not be lost. Thank you. In a press conference where Governor Andy Bashir asked the public to bring love and compassion to families now grieving. I'm very close with one of them. They are going to need that love and we need love for each other. We now know the five people lost are Tommy Elliott, a friend of the mayor and governor, James Tutt, Juliana Farmer, Deanna Eckert, and Joshua Barrick, whose church, Holy Trinity, held a vigil in his honor. Father Shane Duvall knew Barrick personally. Yeah, he was just involved. I mean, he would come to mass. He would be involved in prayer groups. He would um, coach, uh, just had a lot of friends, just a lovely, lovely man. The father asked for prayers and compassion towards all those involved even the 25 year old shooter. Uh, there's going to be a lot of people in this community that are angry and mad at him and they have every right to be. Uh, but I still have to pray for his soul too. Tom Lally, WHAS 11 on your side. GoFundMe page has been set up for the families of the victims. Right now, almost $600 of its $65,000 have been raised. The fund has been organized by Victims First, which is a group made up of families that have been affected by other mass shootings from over two decades across the country. We've got that link for you at WHAS11.com. Support for the victims, their loved ones, and law enforcement has been pouring in. Republican leader Senator Mitch McConnell took to Twitter to express his devastation. He says, quote, thank you to LMPD and our first responders for your bravery at the scene. We send our prayers to the victims, their families, and the city of Louisville. President Joe Biden responded to the shooting with a statement on Twitter saying in part, once again, our nation mourns after a senseless act of gun violence. Jill and I pray for the lives lost and impacted by today's shooting. He goes on to say, quote, when will Republicans in Congress act to protect our communities? It's a call echoed by Congressman Morgan McGarvey. Unfortunately, there will be another community and, and there is no time to waste in acting. We must continue to push those policies. And here in Louisville, we must also wrap our arms around the people who are hurting because no policy is going to bring their loved one back. McGarvey is pushing for universal background checks, extreme risk protection orders, and banning assault weapons. He also wants more emphasis and money going to mental health support to prevent these shootings. Right now, the LMPD and FBI are working together to investigate this mass shooting. The FBI has set up a special website for any tips, photos, or videos you might be able to provide. Visit FBI.gov slash bank shooting or call 574-LMPD with information. One thing you mentioned is, uh, and, and several people have mentioned it already, is that Louisville is a big little town and that we're all connected in some way. Not necessarily all by who we know and who we might be related to, but sometimes by experience. And I say that because Mayor Craig Greenberg is also knows what it's like to be on the other end of a gun pointed at him. He was fired at six times in his office on Valentine's Day of last year. And that just really 
just adds to the size of the gun violence issue in America. It really does, and it's it's really tough to think about that. And there's so many people too that are saying, you know, that's, you know, I used to live next to this person's mm -hmm. friend, or you know, X, Y, and Z. It's just so easy um, to have those connections here in Louisville. Yeah, it's it's hard to see. This is one of those stories um, that is still developing. Still so much to learn. We anticipate learning a lot more as the day progresses. So as you'd expect of us, we'll continue to update you this morning online and on air as we get more information. Coverage also continues this morning on GMA.